Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my own back to school makeup tutorial. I'm going to be going back to school in a couple of weeks now and I thought I would show you guys what I do on a regular basis. I was thinking of making this video all drugstore and affordable, um, but that's not really what I put on my face every day in general, so I thought I would keep it real with you guys and show you what I actually do. So without further ado, let's get started. For my base, I'm going to be using a new product that I recently just picked up. This is the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. I have this in the shade C2 and I'm just going to shake it up really quickly and put it on the back of my hand. Now I normally would go in with a beauty blender, but I find that this foundation works really well with a brush. So I'm just going to gently buff that into my skin. This foundation is super dewy and glowy. So I'm definitely going to have to powder this later. If you have oily skin, I wouldn't really recommend this foundation, but dry skin peeps, this one could be it. This foundation literally looks like skin, that's why I love using it. It fills in all my pores and makes my skin look radiant. Another new product that I recently just picked up is this MAC um, Select Moisture Cover Concealer in the shade NC15. And I'm just going to put that on my blemishes. I have a few um, scars. If I'm running late for school, then this is probably um, the step that I would skip, putting concealer on my spots, because people get spots. You really can't control that. But the one thing that I don't skip out on is under eye concealer. So this is my fave Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. And, like always, use a beauty blender to blend it out. So I'm just using a damp beauty blender to push that into the skin. If you use more of a wiping motion, you get a little bit less coverage. And so I'm just taking this up into the temple a little bit, putting it over my eye as well. I'm not going to be using any eyeshadow primer, so that's why I'm using my concealer instead. Whatever excess I have on my beauty blender, I just like patting around my nose and a little bit onto my chin. Now because this foundation is super super dewy, um, I'm going to be setting it with my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. I'm just taking the same brush that I applied my foundation with, putting it into the powder and I'm gently going to push that over my foundation. Anywhere I feel like I'd get super oily throughout the day. So I just quickly did my brows with my Anastasia Brow Wiz, and my lips are feeling a little bit dry, so I'm just going to put on this Sephora Lip in Oil in the shade Ice Coffee, and I'm just putting that all over my lips. It is literally the same color as my lips, and it isn't sticky like a gloss. So I'm going to bronze up my skin with my favorite bronzer ever. This is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. I have this in the Edit Palette, and I'm just going to gently bronze up my skin. This is definitely a necessity for me because I am always super, super pale, and whenever I go back to school, I want to look quite bronzed. So I'm taking a Real Techniques um, multitask brush, and I'm just going around the outer edges of my face, just lightly bronzing that up, getting that on the chin and jawline. With the excess, I like going over my nose a little bit. And just because it's here, I'm going to be using a little bit of Hourglass Mood Exposure Blush, and I'm just going to dot that onto my cheeks. I love using this Hourglass palette because everything is literally here, and it makes going back to school super, super easy. I'm going to put on a little bit of highlight. This is um, the MAC Luster Drops. I have this in the shade Pink Rebel, and it's a really pretty pinky highlight. I'm going to be using a Real Techniques setting brush, just dotting that on there and putting this gently on the highest points of my cheeks. And with a little bit of excess on my brush, I like putting it on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow. And when I'm done with the brush, I like using my fingers a little bit to press it in. This is definitely something that I would put in my to-go makeup bag. It is made out of plastic, super easy to put on. If you are just not awake enough in the morning to put this on before school, just put it on a bit later. 
So I really like using cream eyeshadow sticks, especially when I'm getting ready to go to school because they're just so quick and easy. I recently picked up this Bobbi Brown to go set. Inside the set you get two of their long wearing cream shadow sticks. Um, one is in the shade Sunlight Gold and the other in Bark. Perfect set to have if you're on the go. So I'm going to put a little bit of Sunlight Gold all over my eyelid. I'm just going to use my finger and push that into my lid. I'm then going to take Bark which is a really nice um, brown shade and I'm going to line my eyes with this a little bit and then I'm going to smudge it out with a brush. I'm gently blending that up into my crease a little bit. I'm also going to put the tiniest bit on my lower lash line, just on the outer corners. You could also do this with an eyeliner and blend it out. I'm just going over with my finger really quick. And this is basically the first eye look done. I'm going to put some mascara on, but I'm going to curl my lashes first. I have the Rimmel London Volume Accelerator um, mascara today. This isn't a waterproof mascara, um, and I normally would wear waterproof to school just in case. I really like using this because it is supposed to make your lashes grow longer, so I would definitely put a waterproof mascara over top of this. So that is basically it for the first eye look. Super, super simple. And now I'm just going to put on a lip. I love wearing a bright, bold lip to school because you look so put together and it literally takes no time at all. I'm going to be using a lip liner and a lipstick today. The lip liner that I'm going to be using is from Laura Mercier and it's in the shade Potpourri. I'm just going to fill in my whole lip with that. And the lipstick that I'm going to pair with this is from MAC and it is their Cream Sheen formula in the shade Crosswires. This is a gorgeous, bright, pinky coral and I'm just going to put that on top. So this is one of my go-to looks for back to school. It is super simple, takes no time at all, and you look totally put together because of this bright lip. I think this look is so fresh and dewy looking, and it was super easy to do. Now I'm going to show you how I change up this look for different moods. So I just took off the coral lip, and I'm just taking my beauty blender again over my lips to mute out the color a little bit. So to make the eyes pop a little bit more, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm going to take a little bit of antique bronze here on the very tip of my brush and I'm just going to put this through the crease. These shadows are so soft and very easy to blend. Um, they do kick back a little bit in the pan, so I would definitely be careful. Use a light hand if you're going to be using this palette. And I'm going to take the same color underneath the eye a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of tempura and I am just going to blend that into my brow bone. Make sure everything is nicely blended together. A little bit of Vermeer into my inner corner. I love the shade so much. It just literally opens up your eye. It makes you look super awake as well, so that is perfect for back to school. Because I love liner so much, I'm going to put a little bit of MAC Eye Pencil in Coffee and just line my top lashes with that. And I'm just taking a brush and going to buff it away a little bit. Just going to take that as well underneath my eye. I'm going to put one more coat of mascara on. And that is the second eye look done. Now I'm just going to finish this off with a little bit of lipstick. Um, I have here the Maybelline The Loaded Bolds lipstick in the shade Gone Grage. To add a little bit of color back into my face, I'm going to go back in with my Hourglass palette, dip into both of these two blushes, and gently push it over my cheeks. And this is the second back to school makeup look done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create two of these back to school looks. One is very bright and fresh, and another one is a little bit more grungy and dark. These are 100% looks that I would do on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm going back to school. They're super easy to do and you can basically do them on the go. So I hope you guys have an awesome start of the school year. I'll be going back in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, I'm trying to film as many videos as I can. If you guys want to stay up to date with me, I have all my social media links down below. I also have a ton of stuff on my blog that you can check out. But I think that is it for me today, guys, and I will see you next time.